Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday morning. In today's video, I would like to go over a very, very short list of five important pieces of equipment that I use to make myself code a little bit faster, as well as increase my overall productivity as a software developer. So a lot of you guys have been very curious about my setup here. So I'm going to start off by showing you what kind of mouse I use. And if you guys can see this through the video, it is a Logitech MX500 mouse, and it is a wired mouse, as you can kind of see here. And I actually don't like using Bluetooth mouses because I feel like there is a slight lag, and that's why I kind of use a wired one. And the reason why I use a Logitech mouse is because oftentimes it comes with a lot of buttons that you can map onto uh, your mouse here. And these two buttons on the left is a forward button and a back button for my browser, which makes it very, very easy to research new pieces of code on how to build out new features that you, know, you just can't do without proper research. All right, so next off, I wanna show you guys what kind of keyboard I use. So let me just pull this up and put it right here. And this is a full-size Apple keyboard. And the reason why I actually like using one of these guys is because on the left side right here, you have a full-size number pad that makes it really, really easy to type out numbers. And you have some dedicated uh, left, down, right, and up keys as well as a dedicated backspace and delete key, which makes it a lot easier to code when I want to backspace or delete. Now, the other nice thing about this is that it has a row of function keys right here, which is very, very good for uh, debugging through your breakpoints. All right, so let's move on to the actual development machine that I use here, which is basically a 15 inch MacBook Pro Retina that I purchased in 2013. Now, the computer is roughly four years old, so it's not that new, but at the same time, uh, it's not that old either. And when I purchased it for about $2,500 at the time, it was fully spec'd out at 16 gigs of RAM, as well as 512 gigabytes of solid state storage. And because of all these specs here, uh, my code and Xcode compiles a lot faster than what you would see inside of a MacBook Air. All right, so the next very important piece of equipment that I use is the monitor that is actually plugged into my development machine. Now, what I prefer to use is a 40 inch 4K monitor that allows me to have four 1080p screens on one single display. And what you're seeing on the screen now, on the very top right is the portion of the screen that I record for my YouTube tutorials. And it allows me to also place in the audio recording software on the bottom right, Photoshop and Adobe Premiere on the very top left, along with a full size Chrome window all at the same time. So if you have the resources, the budgets to purchase a very, very large screen, I highly recommend that you do so. All right, finally, the last thing I wanna talk about today is the standing desk that I use to kind of store all of my equipment on. And this desk right here is made from a company called Veradesk. And this particular model is called the Pro Plus 36. And the reason why I like using this desk is because it allows you to adjust the height based on a couple of levers on the left and right side. And I myself, I am about five foot 10 inches and this desk is pretty much perfect. It actually goes higher than I need it to. So if you are taller than five foot 10, this should work out for you as well. Okay, so one huge benefit to standing desks in general is that if you find yourself losing productivity or if you are slacking off during the day, I find that standing up is actually a really, really good way to make sure you stay on task. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you found this very short list helpful. And I'm curious as to what kind of development machine you guys are using. So make sure to leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for joining today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye guys.